This is a story about three ambitious guys' journey to hike all seven mountains of Bergen City. <laughs> Here we are, ready for the trip. Definitely feeling so comfortable. <laughs> Freaking beautiful out there. Fucked up. <laughs> One more to go. And now, the longest stretch of the trip. Take all day. Yeah, good job, boys. Yeah, that's one. Eight mountains. This tiring day started at a long line of a liquor store. You don't, you don't need to include this in the film. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> what y'all doing? Champagne was needed for the next day, which was the Norwegian Independence Day, 17th of May. We are doing the. I don't know if I can say the eight tops because I don't know if there is actually like eight proper tops. Yeah, Max is right. The official event that happens every year is actually called Sea Fields Turin, the Seven Mountain Trek. But we wanted to mix it up a little and add another spot to round it up to eight. So we added Blomannen to the route. Right now we're going to Lidahorn, first mountain of the trip. This was all our first time to try and hike all the seven mountains of Bergen, or eight. Uh, it was even Pau's first time in Bergen at all. Going big the first time. Exactly. And then off we went and trekked to our first peak, Lude de Horn. Ready for the next seven months. <laughs> <laughs> so far so good. And then we walked to our second. Yo, okay, we're on our second peak now. It's freaking beautiful out there. Second mountain top check. And then the third, Love Stocken. It's so beautiful up here. I think we are going down to the city and then back up to the mountain. That uphill to this mountain was when I was really, really feeling it. At this point, we have already gone up and down three mountains, and this was the steepest leg of the trip. It's been six hours since we started. My back is taking a toll. I just want to show you that this is my view. I'm so tired, but I keep my mindset right, so I'm just thinking about just the next step. When we finally came up to Ulriken, we decided to take a break. And then, the longest stretch of the trip to Vilan. Down this road, all the way across to the other side, over there. Alright, so we have been crossing Vilan now. It's relatively pretty flat, so we've been able to cruise. Weather has been on our side today for sure, so we're very thankful. It was supposed to rain all day today almost actually. We've had two tiny, tiny drops of water. That's it's not bad. Sprinkling a little bit, but we're good to go. This felt like a really, really long walk. And some thick fog started to close in, which looked really, really cool. So we took some photos. We ran in some snow. We drank some fresh this water. water is actually the real deal. And then to our fifth top, Rundeman. We are almost in Blomanen, which is the sixth summit. We have done 2,200 meters of ascent and 35 k's almost. Woo! 10 hours now. Yee! Almost there. Almost there, baby. Mountain top number six. Number 
seven Stoltzen. Hey, it looks so nice. Look at Amazing. that view. Woo! We're running out of time because I'm trying to take the bus. But the last three, four peaks were pretty close to each other, so. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> Getting pretty tired, yeah. actually. Only one left, so. Yeah. We, got, we, we can book that one. Yeah. It's going to be pretty tight. Honestly, I don't know. We were pretty optimistic up here, <laughs> but this walk down here was longer than we thought. Uh, and flying is all the way on the other side of that cloud. Next. So, what do you think yourself, Mister? And we did jog a lot of the way and finish strong onto our last stop, Flyin. We finally made it to the last peak, the eighth, Flyin. Yeah, good job, boys. Yeah, that's one. Eight mountains. This was hands down the most tiring physical experience for me this year. We were out there for 12 hours, trekked around 45 kilometers, and ascended close to 2,500 meters. I wanted to quit here and there many times and ask what's the point of doing seven mountains. But I knew it was going to be great and I'm so thankful for the boys, Max and Pao, for being so encouraging the whole time. Achieving this was really cool for me, but at the same time, it was even greater to share this experience with such great blokes. So I'm so thankful for these guys. Uh, but would I do it again? Nah, 